I am amazed at the things that God, I mean, everything in my life, desires, needs, desires, God is mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, God is doing it. Why? Because I'm teaching you how, amen, to see it come to pass. See, it ain't enough to shout about it on Sunday. You got to do something about it on Monday. Come on, have I got a witness today? Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Come on, say it's time. Say due season. It's time. It's kairos. It has nothing to do with you. Amen. It's God saying, it's time. When God gave this particular passage in Amos, uh, Amos uh, chapter 9, he's speaking, uh, he's speaking to uh, uh, Israel in regard to restoration. Because you understand, all through the Bible, Israel could never figure out what their purpose was. And so when God's hand is on your life, amen, and, and you don't know your purpose, God got to straighten you out, amen. And so God, uh, 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 many things that he did, but, and he would, but, he, but, but God could never forget his time. God could never forget. I don't care how bad he had to punish them. I don't care how far he had to send them. God would never forget his time. Glory to God, amen. Praise the Lord. Would you, let's go ahead and take a little look at this. Amos 9, uh, and chapter chapter 9, verse 9. Let's take a look, let's look, look, look at just a little bit of this. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bible says, for lo, I will command and I will sift. Do you see that? The house of Israel among all the nations. Like a corn sifted in the seed. Ye shall not. Uh, you uh, 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 yet shall not the least grain fall to the earth. Huh? Mercy, right? All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us, right? God said, oh, I'm going to get you. I'm, I'm going to get you. You ain't getting away. He says, now watch what he says. But now watch what he says. Look at the mercy of God. Look at the grace of God. He said, but in that day, I'm going to raise up the tabernacle of David. Now, I have to go back. We've taught on this a couple of times. Uh, amen. That had fallen. Uh, and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins. And I will build it as in the days of old. Now, there's, just, just, so, just, just so you can see. Just so he says now. Just, just, just so you can get a little picture of this. Just so you can get a little picture. Get a little picture. Why not the most beautiful temple was the temple of Solomon. The first one was the one tabernacle of Moses. Why David? Because in David's tabernacle, it was the people. All the stuff was pretty, but it was dead. But in David's tabernacle, them folk had tambourines and were singing. Huh? In David's tabernacle, they were praising God. They had instruments. In, De in, in all of other tabernacles, all the stuff was dead. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty stuff, but it was all dead. But in David's tabernacle, everything was alive. Come on, thank the Lord. Glory to God. God said, uh oh, he said, oh, in this last day, I'm raising up a live church, a living church. Come on, thank the Lord today. Glory to God. Come on, somebody say it's time. It's time. It ain't Oh, Lord, let me, let me, come on. Now, watch what he says. Now, watch the grace of God. Watch the mercy of God in the midst of what he says he's doing. Amen. Praise Lord. Bible says, he says, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the heathens which are called by my name, said the Lord, that does this. He said, what? Yeah, he's going to totally reverse it. Totally reverse it. He says, now watch. He says, now, behold, the days come. That the plowman shall overtake the reaper, the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed, and the mountains shall drip sweet and uh, sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. And I will bring, I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel. They shall build waste cities, inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards, drink wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat fruit of them. And I will plant them in their land and shall no more be pulled out of their land, which I have given them, said the Lord. Do y'all see God? What did he do? He totally reversed it. Why? 
Because he can never forget what he set in time. He can never forget it. He can never forget it. I don't care how bad they are. I don't care how far they got off track. See, that's why it's so important, amen, to understand. If y'all notice, we are in, in the times of prayer and things that we've been having, I've been telling us, folks, you're not just praying for you and your children. You're going all the way back to get the root of where God started with you, with your grandparents, your parents, grandparents. And so, you know, your parents might not have done right, but somewhere way down there, there's a root and an inheritance that God is saying, wait a minute, that's yours. And guess what? It's now time to go back and get that. There's a root, there's an inheritance that Jesus has for you, that God put in your family before your family ever knew you, before you ever knew you. It's yours. Ask God for it and tell Tell him I want it now because now is due season. It's the season. It's now. Shout it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. You think it's about you. God said it about you. I, if it was about you, I'd never straighten y'all out. He said it's time. It's Kairos. Some of y'all think it's Kronos and you think you're too old. God said, no, 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 no. Didn't you see what I did with Abraham and Sarah? You're not too old. You're not too old. You're not too old. If that's too scary for you, don't you see what I did with Colonel, the Colonel of KFC? Don't you see what I did with that old rascal? He said, man, I got some chicken. Somebody go eat this chicken. <laughs> he kept working what God put in him, didn't he? An old man kept working. And he wasn't righteous either. Y'all know that, don't you? He was a cussing so-and-so. You understand? <laughs> Amen. But when it's time, somebody say it's time. When it's time, it ain't... <laughs> when it's time. See, the Bible says where sin abound does grace. Somebody got that thing, Lord Jesus. Oh, my God. Where sin abound, say what? Does grace much more, not a little bit, just a little bit? Right, he's out. If we do it a little, we do it right. <laughs> Remember, the fall ain't even to be compared. Come on, ain't even to be compared. And so, what God is saying in this hour that I don't even care if I have prophesied what I was going to do to you, amen. I don't care. He says, when it is time. When Kairos come, all you need to do is position yourself, believe and receive, and watch God do it. And when he does it, I'm telling you, expect the exceeding, the abundantly, the above all you can ask the thing. Will you give God a praise in here today if you know it's time, if you know you done suffered enough, if you know you call on the Lord, you've been asking God, my God, right now it is time. Now, I'm just preaching this, but I've been telling folk, and everybody to catch it, they're moving right on. And they are eclipsing years right now. Are y'all hearing me? Praise the Lord. Are eclipsing years. Everybody that can receive this. See, if you, if you, if you only thinking about you, see, you, oh, I, that's good enough. Good enough for who? Who did all God call you to touch? Who did all God call you to reach? Are y'all with me? Amen. Praise the Lord. It ain't enough to you got enough to reach everybody and do everything God called you to do. That's when it's enough. Glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody say, show sure enough. That's right. That's when it's enough. Amen.